In today's video, we'll show you how to use Filmora 11 to fake camera movements in a static shot. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. So you're done filming your footage and you realize all your shots are static. The shots sit still and there's no motion from the camera at all. Maybe you were filming in a small space and couldn't move your tripod. Maybe you didn't even have a tripod and had to balance the camera on a spare ledge. Or maybe you were simply filming alone and had no one to move the camera for you. When all your shots are static, your clips may begin to feel repetitive and may not hold the attention of the viewer. Having camera movements, even subtle ones, can make your shots feel more dynamic and help your audience focus on your video. Luckily, with editing, you don't need to worry as much about physical limitations. In Filmora 11, you can add different kinds of movement in only a few steps. Whether it be zooming in, panning sideways, performing a whip pan to the other side of the room, or making the footage shake. If you haven't already downloaded the latest Filmora update, you can do so at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. One way to achieve a zoom effect is by using the pan and zoom feature in Filmora. Once your clip is placed in the timeline, select the crop icon and a crop and zoom window will pop up. In the upper left hand side of this window, switch from crop to pan and zoom. Two squares will appear on top of your clip in the window. A red square indicating where the zoom will begin and a blue square showing where the zoom will end. You can resize the squares if you need. Drag the inner square to where on the shot you'd like the zoom to end. If the inner square is not centered, an arrow will point in the direction the zoom will move. In the lower right hand corner of the window, you can select the X-shaped icons to automatically reverse the start and end squares. Click OK when you're done setting up the zoom start and end points. After reviewing the clip, you can always select the crop icon to adjust the zoom. If you want more control over the speed and length of your zoom effect, you can use keyframes in Filmora 11 instead. To do this, select your clip and right click. In the menu that appears, select Edit Properties. In the upper left hand corner of your screen, navigate to the Animation menu and click Customize. Move the playhead to the part of the clip you'd like the zoom effect to start. Click the Add button in your Customize menu to place a keyframe. Move your playhead on the timeline to where you'd like the zoom effect to end and rescale and move the clip as you did before. On your timeline, the clip graphic will now have two dots with an arrow in between showing where the effect is applied. You can move both dots to lengthen or shorten the zoom effect. Remember, the shorter the arrow is, the faster the effect will occur. To make the effect go slower, just move the second dot further down and make that arrow longer. You can also use both the pan and zoom or keyframe methods to pan your shot sideways or up and down. In the bottom right of the pan and zoom window, select either of the icons with an arrow pointing at a line. This will place the squares side by side with an arrow pointing in the direction of the pan effect. Click the opposite icon to switch the start and end squares. Move the squares to their start and end positions and sizes. Select OK when you're finished and readjust as needed. Again, the keyframe method gives you more control over the speed and length of your effect. Return to the animation option in the Edit Properties menu. Rescale and move the clip as needed in the viewing screen and add your starting keyframe. Add a keyframe where you'd like the ending point to be and repeat this process. You can repeat these steps multiple times to move the clip in any motion you'd like. Keep in mind, the quality of your footage can change as you zoom in, depending on the original resolution you filmed in. 
So, you can't turn your camera, but you want to move to a shot of something else in the room. You can achieve this with two separate shots by adding a whip pan effect with the help of Filmora's transition menu. Put your two clips next to each other on the timeline. Go to the transitions menu in the top left side of the window and find Blurry Roll 2, either by typing it in in the search bar or going to the Speed Blur menu. Drag the effect in between the two clips. Right-click the effect and select Edit Properties. Change the duration to 0.15 seconds. Maybe there's a lot of movement in your video and you want the camera shot to match the energy. To add a slight shake effect, go to the effects menu and drag the mild effect onto your clip. In the edit properties menu, select the effects menu and change the frequency of the shake with the slider. If you want a more dramatic shake effect, Try out the other choices in the effects menu. However, if you want a more realistic shot, Filmora's mild effect is the most natural looking option. Now you know six ways to add camera movement to your static footage, all with Filmora 11. Are there other kinds of movements you want to know how to edit into existing footage? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.